Instagram, I welcome you and thank you. I didn't ne really necessarily expect uh, much people because in um, Africa, some parts of Africa, actually people are sleeping. Others will are awake and praying and we welcome you. Uh, I would like to apologize for being a hall when we were in the process or a series of uh, soul ties. But uh, we don't direct ourselves, right? Uh, I did not have glasses. <laughs> if you can see, these are, are new glasses. Uh, I left my glasses when I was traveling, so I had to get an emergency and get these glasses done for me uh, by God's grace. We have them now. We can see. We can be able to read whatever people are, 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 are sending to us, people are texting and commenting on. Live sessions are beautiful when you are able to actually read what people are saying. And uh, most important, importantly, prayer. Family, everybody knows where you are born. Let us say home. They, they say home is where the heart is. In our country, there's so many things that are happening currently, and that needs all all believers, in in a sense, to be prayerful. Uh, and thank God, South Africa, God has remnants that are standing in prayer because what is happening currently is just chaotic. You know, uh, have you ever seen or watched the elders of a house or a home just um uh in a sense, embarrass themselves like that. So those are the things that we are standing to pray for because elders of, of, of a nation are actually embarrassing themselves. And you, these are the things that show you that God is God above all. God will, the Bible says the wicked will not go scot-free. Yeah? And God will continue to show man that he's God. I was actually listening to a certain clip of... Um, uh, the former United St uh, United States president, when he was talking about Christianity uh, that is under siege, and I was listening to him talking about a certain Bible that he's trying to bring to his people and everything. And I watch this man, and I'm like, at least I understand the mm, weakness that surrounds this man. And I, I will not say I'm the fan of this one. I'm not the fan of this one, but at least. He is so smart and worldly intelligent that he understands that, you see, in order to attract something, you need to speak to the heart of Christians. You see, uh, a lot of, of, of people have forgotten the authority and the power of believers. That is why people even in their, in their voting stations, they go without understanding that I'm a child of God. 
and my, 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 my vote is really, really something that can make a huge difference. And, and then we go around just voting for the sake of I want to vote. You don't do that. You are a child of God. And everything that you do, you must do it understanding. Be it the job that you choose to do. You see, that is why there's a difference between... Um, I'm not saying, I'm, I, I, I'm not looking down on any type of job, but a child of God, you will never find children of God being strippers. Because they are principled by the Bible. So, I don't understand why a child of God would go and vote. I, I, I find it hard that a child of God would vote for a, a, a man that is, has no God in them. Anyway, it's not about votes. We are praying for our country wherever you are, all the believers, all the, the countries that are going through uh, uh, elections. We are actually praying for you in order to be peace. You know, one of the greatest things to have and to receive from the Lord that the world cannot give is peace. Peace. We may love that one. We may love this one. We may love that. We may love that. But if there's no peace, how do you lead? It's not wisdom. Then you watch elders and their wisdom. Then you realize that mm -mm. without Jesus, this wisdom is not wisdom that I can actually use. So we thank God that I've done quite a lot of traveling and I was exhausted. And I thank God, honestly, that now I'm able to come and continue where God wanted me to continue. I was, I, I, like I usually say, I don't just do things for the sake of doing them. Mm -mm. I will be silent and listen. And family, those who are not noticing, please make sure that you are noticing. I told you sometime last year, jokingly, that I'm going to lose weight. And you, you thought I was joking? You see how tall or long is my neck now? <laughs> uh, your sister is even losing weight by the grace of God. Hey, this God is helping me. That's why I, I, I'll be sitting with a lot of water. Whenever you see me, I'll, I'll be sitting with a lot of water i just didn't want to come back on uh on our life our first life without saying something i was drawn to uh deuteronomy chapter 29 then i came across deuteronomy chapter 29 uh, 30. family deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 let us read it now so that we can go through it together and then we start our life sessions from today henceforth uh, scripture reads, therefore, keep the words of this covenant and do them, that you may prosper in all that you do. Father, we bless you. We thank you for your word, our God in heaven. We thank you for this love, for in it we hear and feel your love. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you remember Deuteronomy chapter uh, tw uh, 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 29, oh, okay, Deuteronomy is a, a, it means second law, ne? second book in a sense, second law, because it, these are the laws that were written to the Israelites by Moses. Um, he could not finish, um, and then he did not make it to, 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 to Canaan. Now, these are, this is a book that has the blessings and the curses of God. This is a book that has blessings and curses of God. And when I was going through this uh, chapter 29 until 13, uh, 30, then I realized that some of the people are going through the curses and they think they've been bewitched. Sometimes it is important, that's why I say, understand the method of prayer that you bring before the throne of grace in order for you to know what are you being loosed uh, on what are you being freed on what are your strongholds strongholds may not be necessarily what you think are strongholds but you may just be going through a certain refin refinery phase of god showing himself to be god in your life because when you look at this this book tells you teaches you that if you obey the laws of god if you do certain things of uh, given to you by god you are going to be like this and then if you disobey if you walk in disobedience if you walk according to yourself if you go walk according to the worldly knowledge you are going to find yourself under the curses of God. Did God of Israel, who spoke to the Israelites, that time change? He has not changed. Jesus comes to fulfill everything as man. You know, Adam failed. 
Jesus fulfills everything, including every law that was given. So this law, I'm not under the law, but in him there is law because he is the word of God. Now, if you go to uh, uh, chapter 30 of the book, you are going to see the, the, the like repentance and forgiveness. I was actually uh, reading verse two of it. It says, return to the Lord and return to the Lord your God, you and your children and obey his voice in all that I command you today with all your heart and with all your soul. Remember, he has already told you prior to, uh, he has already told you in Leviticus that you need to love him with all that is you, right? With all your heart, your mind and your soul. Right now he's saying return to him, to, to, to his children. Now he says, um, his voice in all that there is spoken word of God in the Bible. You find the spoken word of God and then the written word of God. Today we find the written word of God. Then we re cross reference to that. We come close to the spoken words of God that you are speaking directly to his people. Now he gave us his word inspired by his spirit. This is the written word of God, right? Now he says... And with all your soul, the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have mercy on you. And he will gather you again from all, all the peoples where the Lord your God has scattered you. So God had power to scatter. God alone can restore. God alone can return whatever has been scattered. Uh, provided we bring, he says he will, let's go to, he will restore your fortunes. You see, God is also capable of making one go through financial um, who's financial chaos. So this God who's able and has power to make you go through all these things, provided you do not obey his word, is the same God who says to you this, this, this morning, this afternoon, to others, this evening, that it is in my word that you will find prosperity. It is in my word that you will find success. It is in my word that I will restore your finances. It is in my word that I will restore anything of yours that has been scattered. Next week is Resurrection uh, Sunday. Lord Jesus, as you resurrected our lives from spiritual death, I then Therefore, stand in your name to say, God, everything in my case that has died, we resurrect them in the name of Jesus. Our Father, our God, I now dedicate myself to do everything that is written in your word as you have spoken in Joshua 1.8 in order for me to be successful and prosperous. I do not need to go on to look for a prosperity. I do not need to manipulate people for success. I do not need to use human tactics in order for me to gain profits. But Lord, I'm going to trust in your name and do according to your word. And therefore, I will be successful and prosperous. God is a promise keeper. He says, I will, and he does. God will not say to you, of Obey my commandments, you will be successful and prosperous, and God gives you the opposite of that. What is it that you need to do this night? Lord, I want to rededicate myself to scripture. Lord, may the power of the Holy Ghost be felt once more again in my life in order for me to walk according to scripture. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, family. You do not need to go and take a covenant. You do not need to be a manipulator. You do not need to be a liar. You do not need anything. You just need to dedicate everything about you, your life, yourself, your whole, whole you to God. And things will fall according to place. God will restore you. God will return that has been stolen. Be it by the devil or it is the face of refinery where God says my commandments. Family. Witchcraft, evil, idols, you name it, is temporary. But God is above all. Yes, a witch can come and cause chaos in your finances, in your health, you name it, it's, it's temporary. But when the hand of God is upon you with regard to chastening, with regards to you have disobeyed me as my child, it will be like you are being bewitched, but you are not actually being bewitched. 
is the heat of the consuming fire. So I did not come here to preach to anybody. I came here to say we are back on our live sessions. We'll continue exactly where we, we stopped and then we'll just be as directed. You see, we are doing it as directed. We don't do it according to ourselves. We do it as according to how the Spirit of God leads us to do it because you, as you are at home watching me, you are not my person. You know, you are my family in Christ. You are God's person. You are God's. You belong to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, mighty God. We thank you, heavenly God. Gracious and kind God, loving, awesome, wonderful, excellent God, our God, there can never be one like you. Our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that you are God, our Father. We thank you, Lord, that you are the weapon we need in time of war. We thank you, God, that you are not in shortage of heavenly angels to send when we go through war. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our Lord Jesus. We thank you, God, that he is the living God, the living master, the living savior that is with us today. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you, our Father, God, that in the mystery of everything, we are walking in understanding, knowledge, and power given unto us by the finished work of Jesus. We thank you, mighty God, that we cannot be confused form to the standards of the world. We thank you, mighty God, that everything has been given unto us as spiritual benefits. We thank you that we have gifts that the world cannot understand. We thank you, God, that we have peace that transcends human understanding. We thank you, mighty God, that we can knock on heaven's doors and we are answered in Jesus' name. We thank you, mighty God, that even in this present time where Christians are going through turmoil. You are God that is with us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we rededicate ourselves to understanding and obeying scripture. May the power of the Holy Ghost work once more in our lives like it did in the day of Pentecost. Father, in the name of Jesus, I dedicate everybody that is at home, oh God, that is saying, Lord, I want to rededicate myself to understanding the law of your word. Father, you said if we do them, we observe them, Lord, we shall be prosperous and successful. Father God, the Bible says, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose the soul? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God that we have been elected and our souls have been saved. Mighty God, may we walk according to the scripture. In the name of Jesus, David says, I've hidden your word in my heart, God, that I may not sin against you. Father God, this day we say we want to walk according to your precepts. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mighty God, this day we say we want to fear you above human some trust in chariot but we trust in the name that is above all father god the name that is a strong tower and the righteous run to it father god scripture says how will they know nobody preaches to them may we be the ones god that you have sent in spirit and truth faithfully obediently preach nothing else but christ crucified so that people will understand that it is the name that breaks bondages. It is the name that breaks curses. It is the name that breaks every witchcraft. It is the name that stands against human curses. It is the name that stands against any altar. And it is the name that stands as an altar that cannot be broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God. As we start henceforth, may you take control. We humbly bring ourselves before you to say, Lord, may I decrease that you increase. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Thank you so much, family. We will have another live session tomorrow. I can see. I can see. The most important part is I can see you. I can see you. I can see you. <laughs> Welcome, family. 
uh, Pastor Marvin, thank you so much. Man of God, he says greetings, greetings to you. Uh, Pastor Marvin, uh, I will be going to Pastor Marvin very soon by God's grace. We've got Pilar says greetings. I was Portia, good to have you back. Thank you so much, Pilar. I missed you too. Thank you so much to Papa. Ma. Greetings, Sis Portia Siabonga. Greetings to you too. And then we've got Tammy says blessings, blessings to you too, child of God. Thank you so much. And then we've got Yennefer says, we missed you very much. Happy to see you again. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I missed you too. And then we've got Sister Bongi V says, greeting Sister Portia. Glad to hear from you. Thank you so much, woman of God. Glad to hear from you too. And then we've got... Um, Kazauna says glory to God, to God alone be the glory. And Mimi says it's been long since looking. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mimi. Mimi's very not looking fresh like a vegetable, I tell you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm humbled. <laughs> I miss Sister Mon Monday. Sister Monday, one of the women of God, says, Sam, a long time, no see. Hey, I miss you too. Thank you so much. Butile says, greeting, Sister Portia. I'm so happy to be on this live. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Glory to Jesus. I, I miss you. You even look young. I bo ish. <laughs> 39. Okay, thing. Thank you so much. Oh, the grace of God. Uh, Brother Charles says, welcome. Long time, long time indeed. Thank you so much, Brother Charles. You are welcome. P uh, Pila says, glory to God. Amen. And uh, Chiadi Ch Chiadika says, my sister, where have you been? <laughs> so happy to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hey, your sister has been going up, down, up, down, up, down, tell you it's not easy. <laughs> thank you so much. Brother Ernest says, um, Shalom, sis, thank you so much. Oh, sister Vanilla says, good evening, brethren. Thank you so much, Leo. Says, hi, sister Portia. Miss you. We rededicate ourselves back to the Lord in Jesus Christ. name. Amen, amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Papa Ma says, Amen. Amen. Sister Portia, thank you uh, for this powerful prayer. Glory to Jesus. Stay blessed. We love you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Bongiwe says, Am I early for tomorrow? <laughs> you are registered in the heavenly places for tomorrow in the name of Jesus. May God provide you with that time of making it in time in the name of jesus kitty when he says hello my sister glory to god <laughs> missed you so much i missed you so much the chosen one says nice to see you again my sister thank you see thank you so much child of god you are welcome and thank you so much for being here look around god is busy doing it look around look around very well observe very well the time is here jesus is working through his um you know his chosen the sons and daughters they are busy out there watch around look observe you know uh, uh, the well says observe use discernment in the process god is so busy god is so busy i was actually looking i'm telling you if you look at that video clip go to your tiktok go to your instagram there's a certain video clip that was made by uh, well it was caught on camera by a former president of the united states uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention his name. He has Bibles. Um, but there's something he was saying about Christianity. And if there's somebody that you want to study and understand with regards to politics, with regards to anything, listen to the person that talks. You know, um, he says Christianity is under siege. You know? God allowed him. I mean, I believe God does everything because everything happens according to his will. God allowed him to say that. You know what? Christianity is under siege. You understand? And he is smart and intelligent according to me. That's why I say every politician, the least you can do, seek the guidance from church. You know why? The majority is held by Christians. So he's using that, obviously, for his own reasons and purposes or whatever not. Uh, but I found that to be very, very interesting, in a sense. 
and I was like, God, at least out of his mouth, something came out. Truth. Christianity is under siege. And we have to pray. And how does the devil work against Christianity by introducing all these worldly things to us and then enticing us? That's how the devil works. The devil entices you to love. You know, I, I'm holding a mark, right? I'm drinking water. You are there. You are admiring it. Ne? Let's say you don't have... A, out of you admiring the mark, there can be admiring i'm going to buy it get it you know i need it for certain reasons that can also be envy you see so the devil entices us with all these things because he knows that okay these will work and then he holds us and then he he introduces all these worldly evil you know the agendas of the devil that come as policies 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 and then we blend in, but we forgot. The scripture said, do not be conformed to the standards of the world. Anyway, family, I did not come here to talk too much, too much like I usually do, but I'm here to tell you a lot of stories. Um, I am happy. <laughs> I laugh every day <laughs> with the things I see in this world, <laughs> you know. Um, I, 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 I don't know how to put a warning. I was, I called in a sister in Christ and said, this is what um, has been ministered to me to tell my people, how do I put it? Like I'm one person that doesn't want attention to myself. I love my private space. I love, I love my peace that I've, it's so beautiful. But who name liars? You know, there's this message that is directed to South Africans. You have seen a certain shop. The other shop is yet to come. You know, family, that is something that we cannot. It's, you know, it's, we, cannot, we cannot say God is the one in charge. You see, when God is about to bring down a giant. Me, personally, I love and I'm like, oh God, I'm this little person. How do I say that? But now in this message of heaven, I'm not a small person. People have been warned. The gospel has been preached. People were told to repent. They did not. When we say these messages, when we say these warnings, it's not that we do not love you, but only because heaven has spoken for his people. Let us continue praying for our country. It needs us more now than ever. We do not want a country where people will be ruled by H-A-T-E word amongst itself. We want a, a party. Of, uh, we want a country that has unity, that has love, that has peace, that has God. The wicked shall not go scorned free. So says God. In our human understanding, we usually confuse our two step forward as success. But the truth is sometimes what we acknowledge as success is actually a downfall. Anyway, we are praying for our country, the peace of our country, the acceptance and acknowledgement of we have failed people. Sometimes as a country, you have to come to an understanding that we have failed people, we can do things right. We pray for leaders that will say we have failed people, we are going to do things right. And as humans, as people as well, we need to extend grace to understand that these people had shortfalls and we have to pray for them in order for them to guide continuously in wisdom. And wisdom is not only bestowed on elders. It may come through young people, an older person, we just need to pray. I'm not saying go around voting for people you do not know. Always ask yourself behind this person, who, who is there? Are they guided by God or, by, or guided by humans? Whatever the case may be, we are parents. We need to think of our coming generations. And as youngsters, don't go out also voting for people you do not have confidence in. 
Do you understand? May the God be the one that guides us. May the God be the one that directs us. I may love that one, you may love that one, but are they profitable and beneficial for our country? Let's trust God for that. But South Africa, you are yet to be shocked again. This time, not by what you've been seeing happening, by something bigger. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed.